Hello student, this is Dr. C. Jetta and today we will discuss about emulsion. So what is emulsion, why it is required, advantage, disadvantage and classification. Mainly the emulsion, it is a two phase system, one is oil and another one is a aqueous system. So that's why it is also known as a biphasic system and also known as a heterogeneous system. The globule diameter that is that ranges in between 0 0.1 to 100 micrometer. As a definition we can say it is a thermodynamically unstable system consisting of at least two immiscible liquid. One is oily phase and another one is a aqueous phase. One of which is dispersed as a globule in other liquid phases. Here the likeness in between oil oil substance as well as the likeness in between aqueous substance that is higher so that always we can say emulsion is a thermodynamically unstable. Always the oil molecule they have tendency to join with the oil molecule. So that's why we can say emulsion is a thermodynamically unstable system. Some of the example of emulsion over here that is milk. We can say milk that is the ideal example of the emulsion, another one that is the rubber latex, crude oil, these all are the emulsions. Then in uh, food industry, we can say ice cream. We are using, uh, we are taking the ice cream in a general in a summer condition. So ice cream that is also one of the emulsion, then cake butter, then cosmetic preparation, creams, lotions, these all are the emulsion preparation. Then some of the household items, for example, paints, polices, insecticides, these all are the emulsion. Now the advantage of emulsion mainly it masks the unpleasant test. Some of the API that is uh, they have the meter test. So by converting them into a emulsion we can mask the unpleasant test. So especially in case of pediatric dose we can give such a product in a uh, in emulsion form. Then we can say it is a economical See, some API, they are not easily soluble with the aqueous vehicle. So for that, it is very difficult to prepare them in a tablet or uh, some, other con uh, some other dosage forms. So we can convert them into the emulsion, especially uh, lipid soluble drug, we can convert them into emulsion. And by that, we can say it is economical as compared to the other formulation. Then it can improve the bioavailability bioavailability that means availability of drug into the blood by converting any api into the emulsion we, we are improving the bioavailability of particular product because uh, due to the uh, less size of globule we can increase it for example absorption of griseopulvin insulin and heparin that is improved by converting them into the emulsion as compared with the tablet dosage form then another one advantage of emulsion that is sustained release medication. Here we are converting the emulsion uh, as a depot formulation and we can give by via intramuscular injection uh, to the particular site and it will act as a depot in a muscle and from there the product will be released slowly. So in case of sustained release medication also there is a huge uh, use of emulsion. Then as a nutritional supplement, balance nutri nutrient in a single dosage form in the form of emulsion we can give to the patient. Then diagnostic purpose, radiopaque emulsion, it is available in a market uh, which is used as a diagnostic material especially in case of x-ray. Then topical use, especially in case of winter we are using the cold cream that is also the advantage of emulsion than vanishing cream to hold up the makeup we, we are using this. So these are mainly the advantage of emulsion. Then disadvantage of emulsion. The only big disadvantage of the emulsion we can say that is the short shelf life that means the expiry date is very less because that is uh, the emulsion that is in unstable condition always there is tendency of hash separation due to the likeness between the oil molecule and due to the likeness in between the aqueous molecule always there is a chances of phase separation. So one of the disadvantages we can say that is the short cell. Then being liquid dosage form these are packed in a glass or plastic container as liquid that is difficult to transport so always 
care should be taken in handling and storage from OnePlus to OnePlus if we are transporting from production house to the uh, uh, wholesaler or retailer. So always the care should be taken. So this is another one disadvantage of emulsion. Classification of emulsion based on nature of dispersed phase mainly two things are there water in oil, oil in water. Water in oil in which disperse phase is internal phase, uh, disperse phase or internal phase or uh, that is the uh, water and is a continuous phase or dispersion medium. This is also known as a external phase that uh, as a continuous phase the oil is there. Ideal example of water in oil emulsion that is the butter then oil in water emulsion as a disperse phase or we can say internal phase there is a oil and as a continuous phase or dispersion medium or external phase we can say that is water. So mainly the two type based on the disperse phase water in oil and oil in water. Depending on the globule size it is a uh, uh, there are three types again we can say uh, one of that that is the micro emulsion based on the globule size the globule size that is 0 0.01 micrometer the system that is transparent system as the globule size is very low and as the globule size is very low so due to that the biolability that is also increased as compared to the emulsion the example ideal example that is etoposide and methotrexate in micro emulsion that is available in the market then another one type that is the fine emulsion the milky appearance that is of high emulsion then globules because of the that globule size it is ranges in between 0 0.25 to 25 micrometer then third one that is the multiple emulsion this is also known as an emulsion within the emulsion water in oil in water or oil in water in oil so this is all about uh, the, what is emulsion why it is important advantage disadvantage and different types of the emulsion. Thank you.